guys. Well, Fox 5 DC is your election station, so spread the word. Uh, we're going to start off our coverage this morning with our very own Steve Shinnaby, who's monitoring all of it live from our Fox 5 newsroom. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, guys. Busy day ahead, a busy week ahead. This time tomorrow, polling places all across the DMV will be open and will have been open for several hours. So we only have hours to go until we get there, and the polls continue to show a very close race between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump, neck and neck in most races. Both will spend their last day holding huge events in the crucial battleground state of Pennsylvania. We have live team coverage for you this morning. Stephanie Ramirez live outside of Howard University. That's where preparations are underway for Kamala Harris to spend tomorrow night. But we're going to kick things off with Maureen Ume with a look at some of the security measures right here in the nation's capital. Mel? Hey, good morning. So these security measures going to affect uh, not just uh, overnight. The last couple of weeks they've been planning for it. In fact, a lot of these agencies were planning for security uh, four years ago when some of them were caught a little flat-footed in the wake of some of the protests that happened. Let me step aside. You can see this is Lafayette Park. They've got eight-foot-tall metal fencing that's gone around the entire perimeter just outside the White House, of course, the executive building. And they have more on standby because, again, they want to make sure the area is secure. Secret Service saying that they've been doing this for a while. They did uh, put up some fencing. Yesterday, they'll be putting out more today. As I said, uh, this is not just happening here at the Naval Observatory where uh, the vice president lives. These eight foot tall metal fencing has also gone up around there. In addition, the Secret Service is saying that in Palm Beach County, Florida, where former President Trump will be uh, spending election night, they're also securing that area to ensure safety for those folks there. These messages aren't just for election, uh, but also as authorities gear up for the January 6th certification and January 20th inauguration, they want to make sure all that is in place. D DC police say there will be street closures beginning tonight at 7 in preparation for Vice President uh, Harris's election party at Howard University. My colleague uh, Stephanie Ramirez will talk some more about that. And as officials work to safeguard public and federal buildings, some businesses and property owners are also taking precautions. They're boarding up their windows and also entrances. Overall, D.C. Mayor Mira Bowser says planning has gone on for months and that safety is, a, is very much paramount. People we spoke with agree they share their perspective on these security measures. I'm from Australia to come to watch the election. So I was here without any of the security and now it's pretty confronting really. And further down the street a shop with its um, windows boarded up. So I guess anything could happen. Does it concern you? Does it frighten you at all? Mm, no. I think you guys have got this. Unfortunately it's necessary uh, from the January 6th uh, insurrection from uh, 2020. You have to be realistic. It's error on the side of caution. Indeed, you need to. And a D.C. police are saying they have uh, 3,300 officers on standby. Leave has been canceled, so it will be all hands on deck. In addition, they are also bringing in 4,000 additional law enforcement agents from outside the area. They will be deputized, deputized to also uh, be in effect during this period. Uh, Mayor Bowser and Chief Pamela Smith will have a press conference at 2.30 this afternoon to talk some more about their security posture. So more details coming from there. But again, just a, a lot of security happening here around the White House at Lafayette Square. I expect this to happen not just today, but to continue not just on Election Day, but even beyond. That's the very latest from here. I'll send it back to you in the studio, Steve. All right, Maureen, I'll take it. Thanks so much.